Hey, what's going guys? Late in here, and today we're going to be showing you how to customize uh, an NPC shop on a RuneScape private server, Revision 7.18. Alright, so the first thing you want to do, obviously, is open up your source folder, and then search in the top, uh, top right corner, uh, unpack shops with no space. In there, when your uh, search results are finished, um, you'll see a text document called Unpack Shops. Open it. I recommend you open this with Unpack Shops. Now, to do this, you can just right click and edit with Notepad plus plus if you already have it installed. If you do, well, let's say this: if you want a text document to be always open, like like what I did when you just double click, it opens with Notepad. Just simply right click, open with, and choose default program, and then. There you go, open with Notepad++, plus plus, and it will always open with that. It will also change every text file to open with this, but I love Notepad++. Plus plus. It's such a good uh, C++ coding tool. Alright, back to our shops. Now, let me explain what uh, a line, uh, a one line is, because that's what, once you know what one line is, you'll know why there's so many, and then you'll know how to make one yourself or customize them. Alright, so first up, we're going to begin with the first number, which is called a key. The key is used for um, npchandler.java or any other places as well um, to match a shop with an NPC or to match a shop with an, an object. So, for example, um, let's find something in my. Alright, so you see this portal right here. If I wanted to open a shop, I could. I could just go into object handler. Um, Put a code in, then make, use that number, this number here, and then that will identify the shop. Alright, the next shop, uh, the next numbers are uh, 995. Uh, you can see there's some different other numbers below, which might confuse you if you uh, are starting off. Um, 995 is the item ID for coins. So we'll search for coins. There you go, 995 coins. Um, that's the currency of what is going to be used in the shop. So 29967, I'm not sure what that is to be honest. I'll have to have a look but, oh my bad. Uh, it's, I don't even know but yeah that's that's apparently the currency for that shop. Um, Alright, and as I said you can change this to anything, any any item ID and that or item ID that you're using will actually be the currency for that shop. Purchasing and even selling will give you that item back. <coughs> Alright, the next one. Now these are words, false and true. And what they mean is, if it's on false, you cannot sell to the shop. If it's on true, you can sell to the shop. So you can sell, I'm not sure, 100% sure if it's the items that are sold in the shop. I'm not sure if you can sell anything to the shop unless they're in the shop or if you can just sell them in general. I'm not sure, but uh, it's probably because for I put true for general store slash shop, skilling shop, and other other stores that are allowed for people to sell back the items to or sell any items to. Alright, um, then this I'm not sure what that thing's called. Sorry, I'm half awake it's, it's like seven o'clock I'm still awake but yeah you just put that line there and then this is the name of the shop all right so um, it's not a description for that temporarily it's actually it actually involves naming the shop not it doesn't name the NPC as you can see it says all the um, custom names beside the original names no it doesn't do that it just it changes this name in here, the title. So it's decent. If you want to change the names of the NPC, you can do that by um, going to npc.java and then figuring the code. I'll I'll make a video for it. So just stay on my YouTube channel, keep me subscribed, and you'll see. All right, back to the shops. <sighs> Man, I talk too much. <laughs> um, all right, and then you have another line here. Make sure there's always only a single space between every uh, every bracket or every part so I have key money barely so just any new developers that join my team will 
uh, no. <laughs> Alright, so now you're going to see a little pattern here, different number here, different set of numbers here, then the, then the same in the second row. So what that means is uh, that first lot of numbers is the item ID, so 1351. Um, I'm not sure what that is, I'm not going to search it up, but I know it's, it's probably a hatchet because it says hatchet store. And then how much is being sold in a shop? A thousand. And holy shit. <laughs> I knew that a lot. Um, Alright. So I'm going to be working on a my armor shop. Right here. Alright. So let's say uh, it's four, 148. That's the key. The currency is 995. It's on false here. I can't sell back to the shop. It's called armor shop. And that's the room plate body. And there's a thousand in there. Alright, so just check that, yep, that's right, looks right. Um, to change prices, uh, you have to go into the cache and edit the price in there with Frosty Cache Editor, which I'll leave a link in the description below, or you you can, I'm pretty sure most sources come out with a internal price editor, so um, use that definitely, but yeah, I'm, I'm still sticking with the cache one, it's stupid, but yeah, that's what I, that's what I do. Alright. And then to add an item over item, you just repeat. So uh, I got my set there. That's one item. Uh, I'll sell, I want. What else do I want to sell in the shop? Let's let's look for some rune plate. Rune plate legs. Rune plate. Alright. Uh, oh shit! There's fucking heaps of them. Uh, I just want normal ones. Where can I find normal ones? Oh, I'm blind. Oh, I think I just went, ah, we just pick, uh, we just pick this one, Room G, Room Plate Body Gold Trim. Shove that there, make sure there's a space between there, when there's a space, space again, and then the quantity of how much is in there, so a thousand. Uh, right click save, and then when you save it, you want to go into your source folder again, look for data folder, then look for items, then look for patchshops.s or whatever the format is but it's definitely called pack shops there's probably more depending what your source how it works and shit I know I've seen other sources with like three different kinds just delete them all <laughs> just delete them all um but for me I wouldn't just delete it and go right ahead I would just like m like cut it and put it on my desktop and then if I accidentally oh, whoops, if I accidentally corrupted the unpa uh, the pack shops file um, I could simply put it back and then it will work again and then I'll have to figure out why it's doing it. But it's always good just to have that backup plan. Alright, you won't need to compile for this. Not that I'm aware of, I'd never have. <laughs> Some of my mates still compile even after editing editing a shop. Alright, so there's only me on the server so I can just simply edit, uh, close it, run it. Alright. <sighs> Go into the game. I'm just going to pause the video right here because I have to enter a security pin for the server. So if someone hacks a admin account, they can't do anything on it. So security pin is a pretty cool feature. You guys, I'll be right back in a few seconds. <coughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> I'm back. So if it's really laggy, it's because the client kind of fucked up when I was when I opened it. Alright, so here's the armor shop. And remember where we added the gold trim? It's oh, I thought we added plate legs. Oh shit! Oh, that's all right. There you go. It shows you that we added a room plate body gold trim, a thousand of them. And yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's probably more that I haven't explained, but um, simply just leave a comment below if you have a problem, and I'll definitely get back to you because I'm active. Um, definitely, even if you're bored and wanting to try out. Uh, different RSPSs definitely come check ours out we are legit we are committed we are a development team that are currently hosting a really great RSPS and I can't believe no one wants to play it we even well, we came first at one stage look at this damn <laughs> anyway um, that's enough of my, about me bragging about my RSPS and time to get yours running so if this helped please subscribe and like the video just to show that it was useful um, instead of me typing and have actually having a mic because yeah I remember when I started RSPS's
god damn I couldn't find any tutorials that were decent so I thought I'd make one sorry about my voice though I'm half awake <sighs> alright I better go before I keep talking um yeah later guys